Today's video is not about carving, it's about making a rack for putting uh, carving tools. So this is one uh, I'm going to make. Um, I already made this one for my knives, but now I want to make one for... Now I want to make one for all my uh, different carving tools, and I also have other knives. I used to have my knives on uh, this board that I made with a magnet strip. Um, it worked, but I didn't like the fact that the, the pointy bits were exposed, especially when you're dusting the room, it's uh, dangerous. So I wanted to make something uh, safer, and the way I found was just to make uh, them uh, facing down, and also with uh, plexiglass to make sure that no one can just put their fingers there. So, um, I also acquired um, a series of tools from Dockyard that are very uh, tiny, but also I want to have a, a, a rack to put all of those so that they are easy to access instead of just going to the box trying to find which one I need. While uh, uh, measuring my tool, I uh, drilled a bunch of holes, so this one is 3 quarter, 5 8, half, 1 inch, 1 and a quarter. I found that most of my tools would just fit right into a, a 3 quarter hole, because they all have some sort of taper. Um, they're not really straight, same thing for those, they have a, a taper. So I can just drop them in holes and they, they fit right. Um, some tools, like um, these dockyard, they don't have a tapper. They, they, they're pretty straight, so I will have to uh, do something different because otherwise they'll just go to the hole. I'll probably drill uh, the hole part of the way and then a smaller hole underneath so that they're just uh, sitting there. These are the two I made uh, yesterday and I'm going to make a third one today. Um, uh, the construction is really simple, it's just two boards on top of the other. And uh, I made the hole, like I said earlier, I found that a three quarter hole was uh, perfect for most of my tools. Uh, some are smaller, like this knife, but it did fit in a 5.8 tool and uh, I didn't have to do much to it, it just fits right snug. This one though, it would go way too deep. So what I did for this one, I um, made a tapered hole, where the hole is smaller at the bottom, but bigger on the top. I drilled half an inch, and what I did is, um, I made a mark where I wanted the, the, the tool to rest and uh, I made a second mark a three quarter inch uh, lower which is the, the depth, the thickness of my uh, board and I just measured uh, what size it would be. So this one is just a bit over half an inch and this one is uh, half an inch. So I drilled the half an inch hole and then uh, using a reamer I just uh, uh, made the hole bigger just by uh, reaming it so now when the knife the, 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 this one just fits perfectly I, I will have to do uh, this for probably all of my uh, bigger gouges because the, the tapper is really uh, pronounced and if I just drill a hole it will just wobble around. Of course, I won't be able to use the reamer, but just with a regular file, I can make the hole bigger for the other the other gouges. For some tools that have um, something larger than the hole, what I did is I um, did the same as the other one because this one has a large tapper. Did the tapper hole but I also came 
and drill two more holes, uh, 316 uh, thick, and then with just with a chisel, I knock down the, the spark on both sides until uh, it goes through. And now I can just uh, slide the, the tool and press the The construction I, uh, is, like I said, is really simple. Just two boards. Um, it could have been done with anything, but uh, what I use are um, uh, scraps from uh, an old uh, floorboards. I, I redid the floor of my living room and I had an, a bunch of these left over. So I just cut it to remove the, um, the chamfer, uh, remove the, the I just cut it to remove this part. And for assembly, um, I could have used uh, nails from the nail gun or just screws, but I wanted them to uh, look invisible. So I just drew, uh, I just decided to use uh, uh, dowels. It doesn't have to be really uh, support any weight. It doesn't have to be very strong, so just uh, just uh, small dowels were just fine. For the, <coughs> the long grain, I use a, a dowling jig, makes it easier. And uh, for the bottom, I use just a drilling block. So just an assembly, uh, super simple. For the holes, on the top, first thing I needed was just to make uh, a plan, just full scale plan. This is for the, the, the other two. I gave myself a uh, uh, three quarter inch on the side, so this part would be uh, left blank. And then I gave myself half an inch all around, so that the, the, the tool would have room to the don't uh, bang on the, uh, the plastic dust. And then I made a grid of the largest tool I wanted to use. So for this one, it was three quarter of an inch. So I made a grid of three quarter and I drew, uh, I, the hole would only be uh, on each um, stagger. So, and for the, the other one, for the dockyard tool, because they're really small, I uh, made a half inch grid and I did uh, three, three rows with a quarter of an inch in between each row. So that gives uh, enough space for every um, tool to not bang with each other. Like I said earlier, for the backyard tool, they don't have any tapper at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, dig a larger hole that will be uh, this. Uh, I'll try to find the, the, the closest uh, drill bit and then I uh, will drill a smaller hole probably uh, just this part here so that the um, this whole thing can just uh, fit snug into a smaller hole for this part here to determine this height I, uh, I did it with my other knives so I just make this board and I um, put the tool in there and then I measured which distance I needed and uh, gave it some more so this uh, my other knife would seek way deeper and eventually uh, even if the dockyard will uh, will just uh, sit there um, I still made them the same height as the other so that they, they could be uh, on a line along my uh, my workbench so I don't have um, plans but it's something that anyone can just uh, do especially uh, with different tools so people have different tools so the most important thing is just to draw the grid uh, full scale that way uh, it's uh, less confusing so I made a few tests and I um, got this one right so I need uh, 1332 of all. The, the, the smaller one was way too... Um, 2164 was too tight. And I measured. This is the largest tool 
uh, the dark yard make, which is five millimeter. I just drew, uh, drilled a one quarter inch hole to fit the tool. So it just goes down. I drilled out of the holes. It's kind of uh, triple phobia inducing this uh, so many small holes. Some people are afraid of that. So um, the, the, each hole has a chamfer, so the, the chip out is not as bad because it's a pre-finished part of uh, the uh, material, it just chipped out of it. Uh, now I'm going to glue it uh, with the dowels. Not going to bear to um, to bear a lot of load, so it does not need uh, a lot of glue. Just need two holes a bit. While this uh, dries, I'm going to go and cut some plexiglass. I'll do it uh, off camera because I don't want to damage the camera with uh, the plastic bits. It's all uh, glued now and I um, cut the uh, plastic glass. Okay. All pre drill. For the back side, I'm just going to use uh, masonite. Uh, Want to waste uh, plexiglass glass on both sides? It's it. There's still enough light to see what tool it is inside. So now I have a lot of uh, sanding to do and uh, finishing. Uh, the next uh, step of the video will be uh, <coughs> the final reveal upstairs.